Hi, boys and girls. Um, we are on our second lesson regarding factors. So we're going to use division and the associative pro property to test for factors and to see some patterns, um, which is like number sense. So you have to explain your thinking for these one, two, three, eight problems, okay? So if it's a factor or not. And you're using your number sense. And then sometimes you do need to do some... Um, division, but you also have to see a pattern. So is 2 a factor of 72? Well, yes, because 72 is an even number, and 2 is a factor of every even number. So if a number is even, it always has 2 as a, as a factor. Is 2 a factor of 73? Well, no, because 73 is an odd number, and 2 is not a factor of odd numbers, only even numbers. Is 3 a factor of 72? Well, hmm, I know that 3 times 20, 3 times 20 is 60, and 60 plus 12 is 72. So 60 is divisible by 3, and 12 is divisible by 3. So I could figure out that it is, but you can do the long division problem, right? Is 2 a factor of 60? Well, yes, because 60 is an even number, so 2 is a factor of every even number. Is 6 a factor of 72? Well, here's our first pattern. 62 is a factor of 2 and 3. Hmm. And 2 times 3 is 6. So is it a factor of 72? Well, 6 times 10 is 60. And 60 plus 12 is 72. And 12 is divisible by 6. So even just breaking it down in my mind like an area model, I could say yes. But also because it's divisible by 3 and by 2, and 2 times 3 is 6 but we can do long division. Yes, look at that. Is four a factor of 60? Well, hmm. I know that four times 10 is 40, and 60 minus 40 is 20, and four times five is 20. So if I did an area model like that in my head and did mental math, yes, but you can also do long division to figure it out. Is 5 a factor of 72? Well, no, because 72 does not have a 5 or a 0 in the 1's place. And all factors of 5 have a 0 or 5 in the 1's place. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Okay. Is 8 a factor of 60? Well, I know it's not because I know that 8 times 7 is 56. So I know it's not, but I also did long division to show it. Okay, So you can use your mental math. They wanted you to ex explain your thinking or use division. So if you said, well, seven times, five times seven is 56, so no, and eight times eight is 64, then we know no. So you can use facts or you can use long division. Okay, so we're going to use the associative property to find more factors of 12 and 30. So 12 is six times two. Well, six can be broken down to three times two. So three times two times two. Or we can move the parentheses, 3 times 2 times 2. And 2 times 2 is 4. So 3 times 4 is 12. So see how we can get more factors besides 6 and 2? Two? 3, 2, 2. 3 and 4. Okay. So 30 is 6 times 5. 6 can be broken down to 2 times 3. So it's 2 times 3 times 5. And if we move the parentheses... 2 times 3 times 5, and 3 times 5 is 15, so 2 times 15 is 30. So we have 6, 5, 15, 2, 3, and 30. So we have more factors that way. Okay. In class, we use the associative property to show that when 6 is a factor, then 2 and 3 are factors because, whoops, whoa, what is that? Ah, didn't want that to happen. What's going on? Okay. <laughs> because 2 times 3 is 6. Use the fact that 10 equals 5 times 2 to show that 2 and 5 are factors of 70, 80, and 90. So 70 equals 10 times 7. So we can break apart 10 into 5 times 2, which means 5 times 2 times 7. Remove the parentheses. 5 times 2 times 7. 2 times 7 is 14. 5 times 14 is 70. If we do 80 equals 10 times 8, again, we break 10 into 5 times 2. 5 times 2 times 8. 
Move the parentheses. 5 times 2 times 8. 2 times 8 is 16. 5 times 16 is 80. Okay. Same thing with the 90. 10 is 5 times 2. So 5 times 2 times 9. Move the parentheses over. 5 times 2 times 9. 2 times 9 is 18. 5 times 18 is 90. And this one's a little trickier. The first statement is false. The second statement is true. And we have to explain it. If a number has 2 and 6 as factors, then it has 12 as a factor. Well, because you would think 2 times 6 is 12, but that's not true. The first statement is false. 2 and 6 are factors of 18, but 12 is not. So it's not always true. You have to start with the larger number. If a number has 12 as a factor, then 2 and 6 are factors. So 2 and 6 doesn't mean 12 because 18 shows us 1 times 18 is 18, 2 times 9 is 18, 3 times 6 is 18. But 12 is not a factor. The second statement is true because 12 can be divided by 2 and 6. 2, 6, and 12 are all factors of 60 because 2 times 30 is 60, 6 times 10 is 60, and 5 times 12 is 60. Okay. So we're learning to use division and the associative property to find more factors and using our number sense as well um, to find out about factors. Okay? So have a wonderful night, and we'll see you in the morning. And always refer back to your problem set because, as you know, our homework is almost identical except for a few number differences. But the problems look exactly the same for the problem set and the homework. See you tomorrow.